that what happened before is that in the last part that we we didn't update the bar position that we instantiated well we initiated here so it basically added the, all the bars in the same place so we need to instantiate I mean update that because otherwise it will add all the bars on the same place so we need to update it let's get that going bar position equals equals bar position plus this that bar width or bar position plus equals this bar width it should work right now and there you go you have it right there right at your fingertips now we, ha we still have to fix this at the bottom here because it's not looking right it's not the way we want it to look so we still have to fix that and let's fix that now now what's happening here is that uh, let me just explain to you what's happening here first of all this image height here it shouldn't be the height it should be the bar height that's why it was giving us trouble and then also the reason why we don't see the barcode border is because we haven't instantiated it we haven't assigned any value to it so let's do this that barcode equals two let's just set that by default to be equals to two now let's test that what do we do we set the barcode oh Jesus Christ this that border what was I thinking of okay so now we have the border of that barcode that's nice so now we just need to add the numbers and the label we're getting closer to the end product you know this has been a long tutorial the two parts with 30 minutes around 30 minutes so it's and it's not short it's long but um, it's gonna be a really good experience to have this now let's let's start adding the the label and the the numbers at the bottom first of all I'm gonna show you the font that I used to 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 put on the barcode it's called Aller I got it from font squirrel it's total free you can download it and use it I got it from font, from font squirrel so you can use it and download it I'm gonna provide it with the with the license and all the fonts that you need that's the font that you wanna use at least for for this tutorial or you can use whatever you want but you will have to fit your needs and change the values now let's get this the font since I told you it's for Aller and I have it here it's called remember it's called Aller so I have it in this folder and then I'm gonna put it as step like that here's the file system so you can see it's uh, it's right there the file is right there so you can see the font with the license and everything like that so relative to the directory it's here so I'm gonna include that to be used in the as the font for that file as the, as the font for the barcode 
so font equals let's look for the file name that the font we want to use file name is aller but the font name is aller underscore rg regular rg that ttf okay so that's the file name for the font that's the only thing we need we don't need the font name we just need the file name where the font is located so don't worry about it if you don't know the font the font name just use the file name now that's the font and now we want to put the label for that now remember this digits are the far ends are smaller and this ones in the middle are a little bit larger and you also have to divide them into four different pieces so keep that in mind because we're gonna do a little bit of math here so let's get this going digit 1 equals sub str code display start at 0 and then just one character and remember you remember that I talked to you about code display yes remember about code display that it was only the plain numbers this is where it comes useful now left digits those are the digits on the left side of the barcode sub str code display it's coming from one and five characters long then right digits equals sub str code display six then five digits long then digit twelve equals sub str code display Eleven, then one digit long, and we're gonna do the scale of this now. The outer digits, outer digits, scale equals this bar width divided by zero point. What does that mean? Well, that's essentially like multiplying the bar width times 20. So, no, not times 20, sorry. Essentially like multiplying bar width times five, not times 20. So it's, this is just like doing like that. Then inner digits scale. Then let's do the label scale. 
table scale and it's gonna be equals to point point two. Yeah, it's a little, a little bit larger. I'm sorry, it's gonna be a little bit smaller than than the inner digits. And the middle digits. Uh, I misspelled outer here, so I'm just gonna fix it. So this essentially is the scale of the items, but uh, you can use whatever you want. This works for me, and I think it works fine for everything. Now we're gonna get the position for all the items. So let's get that digit one x y position equals image t t f box what this gives us is the coordinates of that text based on the scale and also based on the size of it now let's get this going. This is going to be outer digits scale, then zero here, and then select the font, and then what's the content? Digit one. That's correct. something here remember that the font was inside another folder called Aller and then that's there yeah because otherwise it gives us um, some errors so let's prevent us from getting errors and having to come back and fix that so left digits x y equals image DTF box inner digits digits scale angle zero then select the font and then left Digits. So it's not on the score there. And then we'll duplicate that. Now we just rename this right. Right digits. Just to save time. Let digits. Come back to the label xy position. Label xy equals image ttf box. Label scale zero angle font. This. positions there now let's start adding those labels to the right positions according to our calculations 
now I'm going to type this in because if I start explaining how uh, it will take too much time so this middle space equals 43 times this bar width that's a variable that will help us do what we have to do now digit 1 x equals this border plus you know what I'm gonna pause the video and type that in and then you will find out after that now this is what I pasted now before we talked about that let me just clear something out uh, first of all here uh, you have to replace here yeah it went, there was code instead of this that code and, and here also you have to replace everything that said code here by this that code because code is actually forced here and they convert into this that this four slash or this dash greater than code you essentially have to replace this by now you essentially have to replace dollar code or code by this that code you have to replace that because otherwise it will give you errors uh, be sure to check out the documentation and the source file are going to be available for download so if you are missing some part of this video or you were confused in the video just go back to the to the source code and analyze it and read it thoroughly complete and you'll be fine now this for example and this is what we just added so we get a digit X position for the first digit so let's analyze this the border plus the padding minus the digit X position and that's divided by 2 so what does that mean that means that it's located in the middle of this place here between the vertical line and the border so it's located in that middle that's why it's divided by 2 and then the left digits also located in the middle of this this is the middle space that's why we do the middle space here and that's why we use the middle space here and then for the right digits we also do the the middle space and we align it to the middle of this area and for the digit 12 we do the same thing and we align it here between this last line and this border line and now what do we do we add this text using the image TTF text to the barcode using the scale, the outside scale for digit one. Then we add digit one, and then we add the the, the, the position, and we add everything. And by the way, uh, here I was putting uh, TTF box, and it's TTFB box. Fix that, or you will get errors now this is ready so it should be able to work refresh and there we go it's working so that barcode was generated using this script so now you can say that you just learn how to generate a barcode with PHP and uh, the way this can be extended into any other languages such as Java C++ or whatever other language you might think of and this is just the basic instructions on how to interpret that and how to set that up now I'm just going to show you the, the purpose of setting the label as a function or as a method inside that uh, class now you do this UPC set label 
and then you set the label to whatever you want that's the 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 purpose of doing doing that in a class because it allows you to um, to modify it at any time and to reuse that code over and over again you just have to include that file instantiate that class and that's it digital phantom that's gonna be the new label and you see it automatically generates the new label and of course let's do the end let's save it and it should be able to put that so uh, so guys be sure to follow me on Twitter if you like any of my YouTube videos subscribe to my channel uh, be sure to to like my videos the ones that you like or dislike them uh, however you want if you don't like them just thumbs down uh, do whatever you want but be involved in the community and be sure to to keep track of these videos because they're coming soon so I'm just gonna do a label here follow me on Twitter wow then it's gonna be too long for that oh no it's not too long look that's nice follow me on Twitter <laughs> All right, guys. See you next time. Hi, guys. This is me back. Um, I just noticed that uh, you guys couldn't see the barcode completely, and that is because the windows the, was not uh, in the right position of the screen recorder. So now here you can see the barcode completely. You weren't able to see it before, but now you are you are only able to see from this part on not uh, not before so so it's gonna I'm just gonna change the label to show you how it works another testing and then twitter.com I think this one gonna be too large digital phantom oh no it is quite fine so you see that's the flexibility of using classes and objects so see you next time hope you had a great time